You hear that, folks? I am trying to let that implant into my brain so that when it is six months from now, everything's dead, covered in snow, freezing cold, I can come back to this moment and enjoy it. And so on that note, now is the time to start thinking about snow equipment. And I, I hate to bring it up, it's just a nasty subject to talk about, right? But if you wanna be the smartest man in the room, then now is the time to get your snow equipment, whether it's a snow pusher, a snow plow, a snow blower, get that ordered up, all right? We are doing our pre-season sale that we didn't do last year because this inflation and prices were too insane, but they've at least sort of stabilized now so we know where everything is gonna be at price point. We're bringing back the 5% off pre-season discount so you can order it now. We're gonna ship it to you sometime in the fall before the snow's flying so you can get it locked in. And we sell out of snow pushers every single year. Snow blowers get pretty close. On certain sizes, we have more than others. Snow plows this year, we're bringing in the HLA snow plow line. We've already sold their snow pushers for years. MK Martin makes the snow blowers, which is their sister company. They're both up in Canada. Now we're bringing on the HLA snow plow blades as well. These are loader mounted blades, hydraulic or manual, John Deere quick attach, skid steer quick attach. I know some of you guys out there already have those blades. So if you have things to say, good or bad, leave comments down below and let us know. Now it's a big decision trying to figure out what type of snow equipment I need, right? And every scenario is different. If you have a long driveway, a wide area, barns, retaining walls, parking lots, whatever it is, it's always something different and unique. And so you need to make a priority list on what is best for your situation, whether that's gonna be price, whether that's gonna be piling snow up or blowing it away or having something in front of you or behind you or what the capabilities are that you have on your tractor, hydraulics, extra electronics, or if you just need something simple. And so we've done all sorts of videos going into deep dives on the snow blowers and on the snow pushers. We've done comparisons on snow blowers and buckets and pushers and plows and all that kind of stuff so you can help make a more informed decision on what's gonna work best for your scenario. And so for me, I love to keep things simple. If you follow my channel, you know I have equipment problems seemingly all the time, all right? But one thing that does not ever fail me is a snow pusher. And I think a lot of other folks agree, which is why they are the absolute most popular item that I sell every year, because they are simple. There's no extra electronics on them, no extra hydraulics. There's no moving parts, all right? You have bolt-on edges, you have bolt-on back drag, bolt-on runners, that's it. If they wear down, you just replace them. That, that's the only thing. And it takes years and years and years, unless you're using it commercially, for those kinds of parts to wear out. Snow pushers are great for small snows, for big snows, for heavy wet stuff, so light fluffy stuff, and everything in between. If you wanna get out and just kinda clean off that last skiff so you don't drive over and pack it down, they're amazing for that. You can get a back drag on there and roll that whole thing forward and pull snow away from your garage doors, from retaining walls, from parked cars, from other areas that you can't otherwise push the snow to or navigate from. And of course, another very important component is what kind of driveway surface do you have? Do you have paved or asphalt, concrete, stone, gravel, dirt, a mixture? Well, you're gonna have to pick the right option, the right edge, for your contact surface to prevent any damage from occurring. But don't worry, we've done a whole video comparing edges as well from the steel edges to the rubber edges to the UHMW, which is that premium but preferred really hard plastic that is kind of a combination of both. And we like to sum it up by saying it cuts like steel but protects like rubber. Now, no matter what type of equipment you need to get or are thinking about, we're happy to help because you still have to have it sized properly to your tractor or to your skid steer or whatever kind of equipment you're putting it on because there's all sorts of different widths, there's different series as well, and there's a proper size, a proper series for every machine out there. It is very tempting to go as wide as you possibly can, but at least in the tractor world, tractors are not very heavy and traction is what becomes a problem. You need a lot of ballast weight on there, you need good tread on your tires or even the right tread pattern, you know, four wheel drive, it's, there's just a lot to it to make sure you're set up and not sitting there spinning your wheels. And so this year, not only are we including the snow pushers, the snow blowers, the snow plows in our preseason sale, we're including the extra UHMW edges that are in a separate listing if you want them. We're including rear blades because a lot of folks out there love using a rear blade for snow removal. And we're gonna be including all of our ballast weight options as well. So the Versa Bracket, 
which is a weight bracket, all right, for suitcase weights. The hitch hangers, which add additional weight on there. And then all the suitcase weights and the wheel weights that we have in stock as well. And speaking of ballast weight, again, we've done videos all about that, all right? But all those weights on the back there are just a portion of what you need to properly ballast your tractor. And RimGuard is our new channel sponsor, and we are so happy to have them on board because they align with our goals as well of preaching tractor safety, and that's what they're all about. And RimGuard is a liquid ballast solution. It goes right inside your tires. It's a beet juice byproduct, all right? And so not only is it gonna add physical pounds, hundreds of pounds of weight to the backside of your tractor that are gonna aid in traction or power to the ground, but they're also gonna stabilize your tractor, make it safer to operate, and they're gonna optimize the loader performance by keeping those rear wheels planted, lifting up as much weight as you possibly can with that front end loader when you need it. We'll put a link down below to RimGuard's website. They have a fantastic dealer locator. So they have over a thousand dealers nationwide. You can plug in your zip code right on their website. They'll tell you where the closest dealer is. You can take your tractor in to have the tires loaded up, or oftentimes they have mobile techs that can come to you as well. Pound for pound, RimGuard is the heaviest natural liquid ballast out there today. And get this, Summit tractors come with rim guard in the rear tires right out of the factory because they know the importance of getting right to work. And now there's a lot of reasons why I don't think using your bucket on your loader is a great solution for moving snow. Maybe if you only have to tackle it one or two times a year, but we've done a whole video talking about the reasons, good or bad, on using your bucket to remove snow. But on that note, if you do want to go that route, the least you can do is protect your bucket and protect your plowing surface. So we sell a super thick, it's two by four material of UHMW. You can just drill it out. If you have pre-drilled holes in the bottom of your bucket or just drill some holes along there and mount that on there, it's gonna be a good protective area that's gonna lengthen the life of your bucket, not wear down those edges and cause premature wear all around it, and also not damage the asphalt or the concrete driveway by catching the corner or ripping things up. So it's still a cheap investment that could save a lot of money, a lot of pain and headache down the road. So folks, get those sizzling summer savings on the snow equipment. It's gonna go on for a little while, but we're gonna end it. This is not going on all fall. It's an incentive to get your orders in early so that we know how to plan and project for the rest of the fall. And don't forget, our prices include shipping. It's gonna be shipped right to your house. If you wanna come pick it up local in West Michigan, you're welcome to do so and save a bundle that way as well. So head on over to goodworkstractors.com, see what we have to offer. I'd encourage you, if you own a tractor, hit that subscribe button down below. We do all sorts of tractor videos, project work, new attachments out there. You'll be one of the first to know about sales like this if you're gonna be in the market for a piece of equipment at any time of year, and it's completely free. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.